I know some of y'all looking at this right now and looking at the title in particular and saying to yourself, where's the music? Where's the introduction? Where is the triple P? To be honest, I would, like I said, I was, I didn't even think about wanting to do this video as a triple P, but I said one thing that would have made me do it as one is if Billy Porter, or as I call him, Silly Porter, would have made his announcement that he had just got what he announced that he's had for 14 years. In case y'all don't know, Silly Porter came out recently and said that he has been living with HIV for 14 years. If he had came out and said that he just got it, I probably would have made a triple P. And trust and believe me, it would have had nothing to do with me making fun of people who have HIV. That would have been not been the purpose of the video. It would have just been talking about Silly Porter and his antics and how he has talked about black people over the years in order to get his leg up in the industry. Now, he just recently made this announcement and many people are speculating, like, why is he making this announcement now? If he's been living with this for over a decade, it's not like Billy Porter is new to the industry. He's been in the industry for quite some time. Why is he saying anything now? One thing I said was his show Pose is about to get canceled. So maybe he's doing that to, I don't know, bring some more attention to himself. Some people say he may be trying to become a spokesman. Someone had made a joke and said maybe he's becoming the spokeswoman of HIV. And I said, you know what? He wouldn't turn down either one, us being a spokesperson for HIV and being called a woman. As we have seen in the many costumes he has worn over the years, nothing, in my opinion, is topping that damn ballroom gown he wore at the Oscars, though. Like, but anyway. At least for now, because I'm sure there's going to be some other things coming down the line very soon. But the most recent thing I heard about him outside of this is that he's about to be a voice of a new character in the Proud Family reboot, where, of course, he's playing a man in Hall G. And, of course, he's married to a white male, which is literally playing his real life on screen, because that's how his life really is. He's married to a white man in real life. But. He has announced that he has had HIV and has been living with it for 14 years and how he doesn't want it to be a stigma on himself because that's what he has. Um, Magic Johnson announced that and came out he had HIV and it didn't take him 14 years to announce that he had it back when he first got it. And no one's holding it over his head. There were some jokes in the beginning and everything like that, but now no one really talks about it. The most people say about Magic Johnson and HIV is they don't think he has it anymore. He never had it. But no, I think he has it, but he just has very powerful drugs to keep it at bay because he doesn't he looks healthy. Um, But I think that Billy Porter is doing this right now. And some people are also speculating that he announced it because he's trying to get ahead of something, meaning someone might have something on him and was going to expose him. And then he figured, you know what, let me go ahead and say it now before they have a chance to do it. Which could also be a strong thing because 14 years is a long time. You're talking about a decade and four years that you've held on to this now exposed secret that you've exposed yourself. So I wouldn't be surprised. Remember, like this is a guy who craves he goes deep sea dumpster diving in the uh, in the ocean of attention seeking in almost everything that he does in almost everything that he says. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel bad for Silly Porter because this guy is a walking, talking propaganda machine, in my honest opinion. Like this guy flaunts himself all over the place and then has the nerve to throw it back on black people. Like, unfortunately, many in the academy tend to do. And I'm talking about the black people in the academy. I'm not talking about every last person in the academy because I'm sure all of them are, are not like that. But there's a lot of Silly Porters out there. It's just that he's the prototype. He's the original. And that's what I don't have. That's what I have an issue with. And him talking about like he's going to uh, indoctrinate, you know, children. I re if y'all remember that video that I did when he said it, he said it out of his own mouth because I didn't want it to, for me to just say it because if he would have said, oh, I'm making it up. No, I wanted people to hear out of his own mouth what he was saying. That he was going to wave his little wand around and, you know. And speaking of wand waving, is he still supposed to be the fairy godmother in some upcoming Cinderella film? Because, but the way that things is going on in this establishment, that wouldn't even remotely surprise me if that was the case. 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and read the article coming from the Los Angeles Times dated May 19, 2021. Poe star Billy Porter revealed Tuesday that he has been HIV positive for 14 years, saying that he's finally ready to talk about it and is feeling fine. My thing is, why is he finally feeling fine to talk about it now? Why now? Like I always say, I question the timing of everything. This is what HIV positive looks like now, he told The Hollywood Reporter in a first person piece. I'm going to die from something else before I die from that. My T cell levels are twice yours because of this medication. I go to the doctor now as a black 51 year old man. I go to the doctor every three months. That doesn't happen in my community. We don't trust doctors. But I go to the doctor and I know what's going on in my body. I'm the healthiest I've been in my entire life. So it's time to to let all that go and tell a different story there's no more stigma let's be done with that it's time i've been living it and being in the shame of it long enough the emmy grammy and tony winning star of tv's pose said playing pray tell his hiv positive character on the fx show gave him crucial opportunities in more ways than one so it was almost like he was living out his real life in tv but no one knew about it to him Pose was an opportunity to work through the shame of HIV and where I have gotten to in this moment. And the brilliance of Pray Tell in this opportunity was that I was able to say everything I wanted to say through a surrogate. My car part mentalizing and disassociation muscles are very, very strong. So I had no idea I was being traumatized or triggered. Glad responded to Porter's revelation in a statement from Deshaun Usher, the organization's associate director for communities of color. The tremendous levels of stigma facing people living with HIV today can only be broken by icons like Silly Porter. I wouldn't throw him into the category of icon, but I mean, that's on them. Showing the world that HIV is not at all a barrier to you to a healthy and successful life. Usher said before discussing advances in medications, prevention and other treatment that allow HIV, HIV positive people to live long, healthy lives without transmitting the virus. He called those leaps in care and prevention largely invisible in the news and entertainment industries. When the groundbreaking show Pose goes off the air in a few weeks, there will be zero television characters living with HIV, Usher continued. That is truly unacceptable when 1.2 million Americans and about 38 million people globally are living with HIV. Billy's powerful interview needs to be a wake up call for the media and the general public that it's time to end the stigma that people living with HIV face and to educate each other about HIV prevention and treatment. Well, we definitely had conversations in school about how to prevent the spread of STDs. Apparently, Silly Porter was living life on the edge. Like, I don't have to go into graphic detail about how he got it. I mean, it's pretty damn obvious. 2007 was a rough year for Porter in what he called his valley period on the precipice of obscurity. In a video accompanying the THR story, he describes how in February of that year he was diagnosed with type H, I'm sorry, type 2 diabetes. In March, he signed bankruptcy papers, and by June 1st, he said, by June, I was HIV positive. He told THR, shame is a silencer. Shame is destructive, and I was silenced about it for about a good 14 years. Porter said one of the most powerful silences was shame connected to my relationship with my mother and my ex-relationship with the church. My ch mother had been through so much already, so much persecution by her religious community because of my queerness, that I just didn't want her to, to live through their I told you so's. I didn't want to put her through that. I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. I was the st statistic that everybody said I would be. He described this childhood as fraught with a lot of religious shaming growing up in the Pentecostal church. I was told I would never be blessed until AIDS was God's punishment for gays. Born in 1969, the Pittsburgh native graduated from Carnegie Mellon University with a bachelor in drama and won a $100,000 as a contestant on Star Search, appearing in the same program as Britney Spears. He racked up a number of Broadway credits and released two of his four albums before originating the role that launched him into stardom, Lola in the 2013 Broadway musical version of Kinky Boots. Among the many laurels the role earned him were the Tony for leading actor in a musical and a Grammy for best musical theater album. In 2019, he won an Emmy for his lead performance in Pose. Porter said he had been in therapy for decades, but in the last year, I started real trauma therapy to begin the process of healing. I started peeling back all of the layers, having been sent to a psychologist at age five because I came out of the womb a big old queen. Sexually abused by my stepfather from the time I was seven to the time I was 12, coming out at 16 in the middle of the AIDS crisis. 
Now, see, I can read that part right there and not even throw that in his face about him being sexually abused. Some people will actually go deeper and actually use and throw that all and throw that up against him, despite all the stuff that he said about black people. I'm not. I'm listen. I'm not that crass because I don't believe in making fun of anybody who has dealt with that um, type of abuse. Now, of course, I will hope that they don't go and do that to somebody else. That's, of course, when that's when you seek the therapy. According to a 2020 study by Glad and Gillette Sciences, as summarized by Glad, six in 10 Americans wrongfully believe that it is important to be careful around people living with HIV to avoid catching it. Nearly 90 percent. Excuse me. 90 percent of American adults agree there is stigma around HIV and people are quick to judge those with HIV. Among the celebrities who have gone public with the HIV positive diagnosis and continue to prove it's not a death sentence. Once was our Jonathan Van Ness of Queer Eye Olympic gold medalist Greg Luganis, Charlie Sheen and Lakers legend Magic Johnson. Porter described telling his mother the diagnosis, the surprising healing effect of quarantine and more in a THR interview. I'm sure this is going to be the first thing everybody says, HIV positive, blah, blah, blah. OK, he told the trade paper, whatever. It's not the only thing I am. I'm so much more than that diagnosis. And if you don't want to work with me because of my status, you're not worthy of me. I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Billy Porter. I don't think that a lot of people, at least those who watch my content and people like my content, they would not want to work with you, not because you are HIV positive. They wouldn't want to work with you because you are a toxic individual. Whether you had this illness, this this, this virus or not, you are still a toxic individual. And to use this to try to garner sympathy is not going to work, at least not. It does. It's not working with me. Now, like I said, I'm not going to sit up here and make fun of the fact that this guy has HIV or that he was abused as a child by his stepfather. However, I do question the timing of him announcing this and for him to use this as a way of saying, oh, people aren't going to be around me because I have this or they don't want to be around me because of this. No, if people are not going to be around you. It's because you have a very dark, negative energy about yourself, especially in the eyes of black people. And one thing that I hate, especially when it comes from the academy, from people who are black in the academy, is that they feel they got wrong, done wrong by one black person. They feel that every black person will do them wrong. I'm not saying that applies to every last one of them that feels that way. But Billy Porter, he's been an issue since day one. Like when he wore that ballroom gown to the Oscars, he made it seem like no one should have judged him for wearing that. And what did he do? He just kept going on and on with the antics and people kept talking more and more about it. But see, because the Academy is such a protected group. There is very little little heavy slings and arrows that's going to hit him, although they probably will, because at the end of the day, he's still a black man. In a very white male dominated industry. Might I add. And then on top of that, he lays up every night with a white man. So you do the math. As far as I'm concerned, he made his bed and he's lying in it and he's continuing to to lie in it. But if this is supposed to get him sympathy points. He's not going to get any points from me. And I'm sure a lot of the people that's watching this right now, the sound of my voice are probably not going to give him any points either. So, again. For him to use his status of having HIV as a way of saying that um, people may not want to work with him, I highly doubt it. But how much you want to bet if people don't want to work with him for other reasons other than what he has, he's going to use that as a weapon against them. And I don't know, maybe I don't know, come out with some kind of an expose later on about how this person didn't want to work with him. And they're going to say, oh, it's because of this, that and the third when that really wasn't even the case. Because, like I said, he is a huge attention seeker. Like, I could see if this was if this guy was not an actor or a singer, he would probably be running some kind of gossip rag right now. Like, for real. But um, that's pretty much all I have for this. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it down in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next one.